What's up everyone? Welcome back to Just Finished Coding. This is a tutorial in Python where we make a computer chess game. So let's get coding. Just finished coding. Now the thing we need to understand in the computer guess game is that it has a pretty simple algorithm. Okay. So the answer is actually going to be always contained within a certain range. Okay. And that range is going to be within two values, a minimum value and a maximum value. So the guess the computer is always going to try is going to be the mean of those two values. Okay. It's very, very simple. All right. So here's what we need to do. Okay. So initially, we don't need to import any module for this. I'm doing this code in an online editor, by the way, and um, you could use any other editor you want. Just make sure you know how to do some basic um, steps like running the program, etc. Okay. We're going to print welcome to computer guest game. I'm just going to say computer guest. And uh, the computer will guess your, the computer will guess any number. Will between, I'm just going to say B slash W, 1 and 100 in 7 tries or less. Okay, that's our initial message. That's pretty simple. Now we're just basically going to enter into a loop. Okay, but before that, we're going to set min. Okay, but that's actually a keyword. So I'm just going to say m i um, n i m u m. That's a long name, I know. Okay, so I'm just going to set it to MI and I'm going to set max to MX. Okay, that's a lot simpler. So minimum is equal to one and max. Okay, and MX is equals to 100 initially. All right. So next, here's our main loop. Okay, so for I in range. 1 comma 7 we will we will have to do the following set guess to be equals to min plus max divided by 2 which is going to be int of min plus max by 2 okay because guess is an int we do not want a, a double value like 51 0.5 or 50.5 in this case. So mi plus mx plus mx. We want that within brackets as well. Okay. It's gonna uh, put in the brackets there. Uh, control x. That should be neat. Okay, cool. So min plus max divided by two. Okay, and now print is this your guess? So now we obviously can't guess it in seven tries if the user gives it um gives us no clue on whether the guess is too high or too low. Okay, so we're gonna say if if it's not okay so here we're gonna give him two options okay yes or no so if actually I'm gonna say a is equals to input and if oops if a is equals equals to 
string y then we'll simply say this variable t is equals to 1 which we'll be setting as 0 right here okay and we're gonna break out of the follow okay else this is the main lines of course so else print is the guess too high or too low and we're gonna give him two options once again and we're gonna say H and L okay so uh, here are the brackets H slash L. Okay, I'm going to set a n to be equals to um, input that the user types in and if a n is equals equals to H then we're going to set min okay if the value okay here's a bit of logic okay so here if the value of the guess is simply too high it means the guess is actually below that number so not min we're going to set max which is mx to be equals to the guess value okay else uh, i'm just going to say lf because there's actually a third option where you could just type in something like one, two, three, four, five, six, blah, 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 something. So we're going to type in else if an is equals to L. Now simple, we're going to set the min, okay, or mi to be equals to the guess. And that's it. We're going to repeat this process as long as the user actually needs. So let's test this out, okay. But uh, in the end, we want to say congrats we guessed it obviously because uh, the computer is going to guess it every time but um, we'd also want to just say if t is equals equals one then say yeah I win <laughs> okay print yeah I win <laughs> else we're gonna print you are a cheat okay <laughs> else you are a cheat print simple there we go here's our program I'm gonna run it right now so is this your guess all right so it didn't actually sh even show our guess okay which is pretty stupid that shouldn't happen and that's because we actually haven't printed our guess here and uh, we're just gonna have to add in one line of code print guess so let's go run the program now is this your guess 50 uh, I'll just print this after this. I mean, this would just look so much better. Run. Is this your guess? Yeah, a lot neater. 50. Um, I'm just going to keep my guess as um, 23. Okay. No. Uh, the guess is too high. Is this your guess? Nope. Guess is too high. Is this your guess? Nope, guess is too low. Is this okay? Yeah, clearly here we can already see uh, some kind of thing, but uh, this shouldn't actually be an error because we have an else here. Okay, but we'll fix that as well. So, is this your guess? Nope, too high. And uh, it should again, your guess is too low. And is this your guess? 17. I'm just going to say no. I'm not going to say yes. Is the guess too high or low? I'm just going to say low randomly. <laughs> you are a cheat. All right. Nice. This thing worked perfectly. So the small thing we need to do here is change the else to an elif. Okay. 
is equals equals to n string n I mean all right and uh, that should be it now for the main block of code okay mm, we are this thing this and that thing goes in there all right here we are going to be saying we're going to have an else so else say you did not enter a valid option okay you did not enter a valid option and we'll have to actually put that in strings okay i forgot to do that oops <laughs> the editor actually put in strings there okay so going all the way oh boy yeah there we are print and uh, put that right there oh my god okay here and uh, wait there boom there we are so print you did not enter a valid option and we're just gonna decrement i by one so we're gonna say i minus oops minus is equals to one and this is just gonna go back into the loop and basically print the guess again and then the user can actually enter a valid option okay so now we have another small thing we need to do and that is right here was that yeah here so now we need to add another else okay and this is going to be doing basically the same thing okay and we can just copy paste that block of code right there these two lines actually copy paste and just indent this and this should be perfect all right so now this covers most of it but we also want to make sure the user can play as long as we as he wants okay so for that we're going to have a similar pieces of code as we did in the last tutorial run equals true while run okay which is going to be set as while true and that's going to repeat until run is not going to be equals to true okay i'm going to indent this entire oops indent this entire 40 line 40 lines of code and i'm going to ask here would you like to play again print oops i don't know why the enter key hit there play again I'm going to give an option of y slash n oops okay and if the user does not do any of that default is equals to n okay so now I'm going to set a and s to be equals to the input and if ANS is not equals equals to Y then basically we're gonna set run to be equals to false that's it that is our final code now let's test this so is this your guess let's take our guess as one okay is this your guess nope it's too low i'm gonna type in something else oops i actually typed in high oh boy okay <laughs> run this again uh this is your guess nope you did not enter a valid option is this your guess nope is the guess too high or low it is too high my number is going to be one okay so is this your guess uh no you did not end over great so is this your guess 25 no is this okay i'm just going to breeze through okay 
uh, is the guess too high or too low it's too high uh, is this your guess nope it's too high is this your guess nope it's too high you are a cheat all right so now what we can see is although we decremented i by one it actually did not go through that okay so what we need to do in order to make sure that this does not happen is we're going to be saying uh, basically going to exit this loop itself okay when you say that okay break okay I'm just gonna say uh, t is equals to 2 okay so give it an extra circumstance t is 2 uh, what's that right here t is 2 and we're gonna break and lf t is equals to 2 print please enter valid options please enter valid options next time and that is it simple and the code works so that's it for this tutorial guys make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to make sure you stay notified about all our upcoming videos the next video an infinite prime generator is going to be releasing tomorrow so make sure you check that out and you can do that once again let me say this hit the notification bell. all right thank you for watching everyone i'll see you tomorrow bye bye